Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create diamond pleating. I have mentioned about changing fold angles in my previous tutorials. When you add internal lines within a pattern, right after the lines are generated and highlighted as yellow, fold will appear in property editor. Turn on fold rendering to get a better rendering look. Then select internal lines. Click simulate and adjust the fold angle. When move the bar towards zero, you will get mountain folds. When it's toward 360, you will get valley folds. And this is how I will be using to create diamond pleating design. Here I have made a dress on the avatar. When you make any type of pleat fold, you should have an idea of how much the fabric will shrink after folding. On a fitted style garment, if you don't add the shrinkage when making pattern, once the garment on the avatar, the pleat folds will look flat because the fabric have been stretched out. I have made a side-by-side -side comparison, before and after adding pleat fold. It shrank around 8 to 10%. So I have added about 10% ease to the dress pattern. Also, the stiffness of the material and the size of the diamond shape will affect the pleating result. For this demonstration, I am using denim stretch fabric. The first step. Create diamond shapes within the dress bodice. Use internal polygon tool to add the first diagonal line. Right click and choose offset as internal line. Enter the distance amount and the number of offset lines and click OK. Repeat the same process to add the opposite direction of diagonal lines. Once it's done, select Dress Pattern, right-click and choose Lock. The Dress Pattern outline will be locked. Then use Transform Pattern tool to select all the internal lines. Right-click and choose Add Point to Intersection. By doing this, it will break all the internal lines on each diamond shape. Add Bond to the dress bodice to make it stiffer. Select all diamond shape internal lines. Go to Property Editor to turn on Fold Rendering. Click Simulate. Slide the fold angle bar towards zero. All the diamond shape internal lines will rise up. To make the diamond looking more three-dimensional, I will add a center internal line in each diamond. After I create the first center internal line, I will adjust the fold angle in the property editor, slide the bar toward 360 degrees. You can strengthen the garment Use copy and paste function to make duplicate of the center internal line and place it in each diamond shape. Not only it will duplicate the line, but it will also copy the fold angle property as well. If your internal lines are longer than the pattern outline, you can select the internal line points, right click and choose extend trim to pattern outline. Don't forget to right click and unlock pattern outline after you finish. Repeat the same process to create the diamond pleating on the back dress bodice. For this dress, I am going to finish the hem with lettuce edge. To do so, simply select the front and back hem lines. Go to Property Editor. Turn on Elastic Function and increase the ratio to more than 100. Click Simulate and the lettuce edge hem is done. I am going to add sleeves and texture to finish the dress. And here is the final result. Now you know how to create diamond pleat fold. Use this method, you can create different shape of pleat fold for your design. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.